Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another third party unlicensed 1-6 scale figure unboxing and review video. Now today we are taking a look at the Thunder Toys Constantine, specifically the Keanu Reeves version. Now you may be thinking Justin who on earth is Thunder Toys and don't worry, I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm pretty sure they are an amalgamation of a couple of different companies working together to create this new brand. For those who don't know, this brand, Thunder Toys, just recently announced they're working on a Sam Raimi suit Spider-Man figure. So hopefully this guy will give us a bit of an idea as to the quality of that Spidey release when he eventually does come out. Now do bear in mind this is third party and it is unlikely. Licensed. That means Thunder Toys doesn't hold the correct rights to make this figure, so keep that in the back of your mind when you are making your purchasing decisions. I have included the link down in the description below to the place where I got mine for your reference purposes only. What we are going to do now though is get the box laying flat in the light box and do the unboxing. Here we have the box art for Constantine. It's very simple and quite subdued, but I personally really like it. It doesn't have to be over the top and super flashy to get the job done. We do have a simple glossy style pattern applied over a matte black box, as well as this logo in the middle here, which is replicated on the back. The front and back of the box look identical to one another. It is one of those slide off the top style boxes. We do have a Thunder Toys slip along the front here, and then the figure himself. Self. While it is a relatively simple figure in the fact that it's literally a guy wearing a black suit with a longer coat up the front here, I have to say, so far taking a look at this head sculpt for the very first time, yeah, it looks pretty darn impressive. Now he does come with one tray up the top and another down below. Plus, if you do get the deluxe version, you get an added accessory. More on that in just a second. What we are going to do now, though, is get all of his accessories laid out in the light box and take a closer look at everything he comes with. And here we have the bits and pieces that come with Constantine. Now, there is one more big honk and key accessory that we'll look at in the very next clip, but I have left it out because I'm pretty sure it only comes with the deluxe version. We may as well start off with this. Now you may be thinking, what on earth is this? And I thought the very same thing. It's a teeny tiny little bag and it has Thunder Toys printed on the outside, but the contents are really darn impressive. You actually get a one-to-one -one scale replica of Constantine's necklace. That is something they absolutely didn't have to do. It's got all the scripture in there, it's got a nice blue ring around the outside, and of course it is all real metal, which will actually be an ongoing theme. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Let's take a look at some of the smaller accessories first. You do get a little box of cigarettes. There are two on the inside there, which of course you can remove. There's a little bit of a print on the outside. You also get this box that says Cleopatra and Jesus. And on the inside, you do get a teeny tiny little bug, which of course you once again can remove. You also get this, which is a holy Bible. There is some print on the inside there, but it's too tiny. I can't quite make out what it says, but all the pages are printed the exact same. Now, as for the weapons, you'll have to sit down and buckle in for this one, because I wasn't expecting anywhere near the level of quality that they have delivered here. First of all, you get this piece, which is made out of real metal. There's wire wrapped around the outside, it's got a nice patina, a nice wash over the top, and it looks suitably dirty and grimy. Next up, to go along with his cigarettes, you get a lighter, which, once again, is real metal. That's right, it opens, there is detail on the inside, and it is a real metal 1-6 scale lighter. That's pure class. I love this. It is fantastic. And yes, there is some scripture on the outside there with a nice oil-stained patina over the top. 
Next up, you have some brass knuckles, which have a cross. I would imagine these are holy brass knuckles. Once again, these are made, you guessed it, of metal. This company really has gone all out with this Constantine figure. Lastly, you get this weapon, which I believe is called the Holy Gun. It is gorgeous, it's very intricate, this section can move. And yes, it is made of real metal, and so too are the removable bullets. They all can come out, they have scripture and detail on the outside, and they are made of metal. This figure comes with some of the most high quality accessories that I personally have ever seen. All made of metal, all sculpted really nicely, and they all do have weathering and dirt and grime in the crevices as the bullets go falling out. That's the one frustrating thing with this gun, the bullets don't really like to stay in there, but it's a small price to pay for having everything made out of real metal. Lastly, you do get, of course, an array of hands. We may as well take a look at this one because it has multiple uses. Say, for instance, you wanted to use it with your Star-Lord as he was falling back into one of Doctor Strange portals, you could totally do that. And, as far as I'm aware, this is one of the only mass-market figures that actually comes with a hand like this. I'm pretty sure all of these hands have been specifically sculpted for this figure, and they all do have a really nice level of paint application and detail on the outside. What we are going to do now though is get the one final accessory out here and take a closer look. Well, here we have it. This is the one big accessory that comes with Constantine, and this thing is absolutely huge and really well done. It's a very heavy style resin plastic, and yes, the top is actually a real mirror. This is, of course, the mirror demon that was being lured out by Constantine in the film. Unfortunately, by the way, I haven't seen this film. The only Constantine I'm aware of personally is the CW version, so I do apologize if I get anything wrong. But as you can see, the demon is coming out of the mirror there. There's some dirt and grime around the edges of the mirror itself. And there is this oil-stained patina effect around the entire thing. The cool thing is there's a prop section on the back here, so you can actually stand this mirror up, and that way you can have it on display. So yes, unfortunately, he doesn't come with a display base, but at the very least, you do get this awesome mirror. Now, what we are going to do next is get Constantine himself out here and take a closer look. And here we have him standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that. And so far, I am really impressed with this figure. It's super simple and straightforward, especially when it comes to the outfit, but Thunder Toys, whoever you are, you nailed it. I love the way it all comes together. The accessories, of course, are awesome. They're all die-cast. What's not to love? I'm really liking the head sculpt so far. The body proportions look great, and the outfit sits really nicely on the body. What we are going to do now, though, is take him off the rotating turntable, punch in, and take a closer look at the details. And here we have him up close and personal. Now, while there isn't a hell of a lot to talk about with the outfit, because it is relatively simple, there is a little bit to discuss when it comes to the head sculpt, because I personally think it looks fantastic. For a company that is, as far as I'm aware, brand new, They've nailed it. Keanu has one of those faces that is notoriously hard to capture in plastic format. Heck, Hot Toys have even struggled. But I think they've done a commendable job here. I can see him in the likeness, the sculpt is on point, the paint applications look great, and I love the hair, it's all spiky up the front and it's really well textured around the back. So yes, as for the head sculpt, it gets a tick from me. Let me know what you think of the sculpt though down below. As for the outfit, the outer jacket is a really nice form-fitting jacket. It's made out of a very lightweight material. There aren't any wires in it, unfortunately, but it does drape really nicely. And of course, on the inside, it is fully lined with this satin-style material with a purple and orange print to match, and it looks fantastic. He does have a very skinny black tie up on top, 
and that is wired, so if you did want to have it billowing off in the wind or simply tucked around the inside of his jacket, you can do that. He of course has a plain white business shirt, not much to talk about with the shirt itself. As for the pants, he does have a pleather style real working belt and some black business pants. There is a crease running down the front, and they do nicely hug the legs. Lastly, he does have a pair of black business dress shoes with a little bit of a rim detail around the edge there. But other than that, it's just a very simple, straightforward figure with, in my opinion, a very strong likeness. Now for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, I didn't really know who to compare Constantine to, so I went back to the only version of Constantine that I personally know, which is the CW version. And I know I'm probably ruffling a few feathers here, this is a completely different version, but here we have the Soso Toys CW Flash standing alongside the Keanu version of Constantine. And as you can see, he is a rather tall dude, which I think is accurate to real life. I'm pretty sure Keanu is a taller gentleman, so this works perfectly fine for me in the display. Just going over articulation on Constantine. Now bear in mind, this is my personal copy of the figure, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm sure when you get yours in hand, you can push the joints slightly further than I'm willing to go. Now starting off with the head sculpt, it is on a fixed neck, so as you can see, it does get a fairly limited range of motion, especially going forward, because when you push it, it collides into the crevice that's been made for the neck to connect to the body. So unfortunately, it is a little bit more restricted. The arms, however, go up the full way on ratchets, going forward on ratchets as well. There is a butterfly joint at the shoulder. There is a swivel at the bicep, a double bend on ratchets once again at the elbow, and a regular 1-6 scale wrist peg. As for the torso, there is one and two joints, so you do get crunch forward and back, swivel and pivot side to side. The legs themselves go forward to about there, they will go out to about there, swivel at the upper thigh, a double bend, you guessed it, on ratchets at the knee, and of course a ball joint down here for the ankle. Just wrapping up on the Thunder Toys version of Constantine. Now I haven't seen the film, granted, so I don't really know too much about all of the various bits and pieces, but I do know Constantine. I know him from the CW universe, and technically it is supposed to be the same character. I really like this figure. The Keanu Reeves head sculpt is fantastic. I see the likeness through and through. The paint applications are on point. I love the expression. I love the hair. It's a huge win, in my opinion, for Thunder Toys. And then we get to the accessories, all made out of die cast. Super classy, something that was totally unexpected. But now I have both eyes firmly planted on Thunder Toys to see how that Spider-Man figure comes out because this guy has impressed me. I love the diecast accessories, the mirror is fantastic, the outfit is perfectly tailored to the body, and of course the body has a bunch of ratchet joints in there, so it's more than sturdy enough to hold up the diecast accessories. If you are looking to pick this up, I got mine from ToysWonderland.com, but do bear in mind it is third party and it is unlicensed. That means the company that made this, Thunder Toys, don't hold the correct intellectual property rights to actually make this piece, so keep that in the back of your mind when you are making your purchasing decisions. Also, if you are heading down to the description, why not check out the link to Six Scale Network, the awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.